Y254. Imagine. All right, welcome back. You are still hanging out with us right here on Y254 TV. This is your daily dose of Y in the morning and right about now. We're just about to get into an interesting conversation on MCM segment. And today, we are bringing it back like never before. You know, you know those moments you're in high school, in Nini, you learn some few things here and there, some piss you off. But now in your adult years, you're like, hey, those things really affected me. I'm mean, those things who are really life changing because you know, in high school, everybody has a different experience of high school. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, we had a conversation with uh, my co host, and he also said that he doesn't like his high school. And uh, I'll, leave it back at I'll leave it to you back at home. Do you like your high school? What are some of those memories that you hold so dear to you? Anyways, I want you to actually, by this, or still on that note, we had asked you a question on our social media. Natuka ukijipata tena high school. Ni nini unazafanya differently? Kwanza, if like a miracle just happened and you find yourself back in Form 1, first of all, how would you take it? How would you take it? I don't know how I'll take it, but that's the question we had asked you on our social media platforms right then. Sure that you plug in using the hashtag why in the morning on all our social media platforms. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter and Instagram as well is at Y254 channel and my socials is at Brian Sako 101. Back to our MCM segment right now. Live in studio are two powerful gentlemen and uh, I'm going to let them introduce themselves and I'm going to start with the one who's on my immediate right. Good morning, my brother. First of all, thank you for coming through. Thank you so much. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Daniel Nyakwesh. Um, I'm a uh, currently, I'm a student still pursuing political science All right. at the University of Nairobi. All right, okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, welcome also. Uh, good morning. Nice to have you back again. Yeah, it's good to be back. Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, I'll introduce myself. My name is Elvis Otieno. I'm a journalist. Yeah. I uh, soon to graduate uh, with my degree on that. And apart from being a journalist, I'm an artist, I'm a vocalist, a dancer, a lover of uh, fashion and design. So basically, when you hear art, it defines me. So, yeah, right. that's who Elvis is. So, in short, you're a multi-talented. And I love yeah. the fact that he has a political background. You have an artist background as well as the journalism background. Yeah. It's like you guys are two powerhouses in here. Now, back to high school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a very interesting question because I remember we had a conversation with my co-host and uh, he was actually trying to also give perspective whether his high school was enjoyable as well or not and mine also was not. I said me and I'll never go back to high school. I can't. Even in my dream, I will not go back to high school. But anyway, story for another day. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, when it came to high school, Kulukona Zile experiences that literally shaped you from you know your performance from your discipline uh, aspect as well from you know those those that were bullied there's a lot of people actually said the biggest part um, uh, the most life-changing experience they had is when they were bullied by you know you're joining form one and then kuna electoral connector monolization yeah. when i go to form three i'm even form two or even your fellow form yeah, ones yeah, yeah. are bullying you as well so uh, I'd really like to get your, your perspective and your experience as well. So mm -hmm. I'll start with you, Elvis, and then I'll come to you, Daniel. All right. So I wouldn't say high school was really an interesting moment. There were those at times when it was really a defining moment for me. Okay. You know, uh, the high school I went was not the one I expected to go once I was done with my primary education, but uh, we, we were there and uh, we could not change things. So I would say I'm, I'm a victim to bullying, but not physical bullying. Like, right. you know, the way people would mess, mess with your mental right. uh, kind of status. So, though these people, and fa the fact that it was not like people who were like uh, in, a, in other classes, in uh, upper classes, it was just people in the same class. Uh, these people would like uh, try to turn me down and make my light not shine because I knew, you know, at, at the moment I thought there was a problem with me, but right. coming to look back, I, I came to realize the problem was, was with them and not with me. Them, right. So with high and school, on that note, let me just interrupt uh -huh. you, Kidogo. What exactly made them to like despise you? Maybe were you like 
did you have like a, a, a skill that you were perfecting and it made you outstanding so that you know because uh, because I, I know before somebody bullies you mm -hmm. they either have identified a weakness or a strength and they're finding a way of actually taking advantage of it or mm -hmm. maybe killing it or being okay. a part of it okay well. i wouldn't say that there was something very outstanding about me first of all i went to a school in the village it was a very minute school uh -huh. and uh i was from nairobi that's one aspect. You know, people from there usually think Nairobi are the people who will come and start influencing people into doing other things which are not right. But that was, the diff that was different from what I presented. And uh, I think uh, my weakness, and I still, to date, I kind of regret why I let people like really mess with my mental. Because I was, that's someone who, who can hurt a certain way. I was the person to always react. Right. And you know, when, when you show reaction that someone actually hurt had Ali Kumiza hurts right. your feelings, mm -hmm. they kind of fit into that. You know, so, uh, that's the point. Al, yeah, it gives right. them power okay. over you. So every time they know where to hit, and it, right. they know it will have an, a reaction to what they were trying to, to, do, uh, to, to do to me. So I would say also, uh, as I progressed through high school, I was elected as a prefect, and I'm telling you, people are very scared, thinking that um, I'm going to be Terrorize like, them. snitch. Yeah. Oh, you know when any you right. can imagine the first uh, the first time I was appointed a prefect, okay. I didn't apply it. Right. The school president applied for me because he also knew I was going to be a snitch, and okay. I'm going to like ndakwana sema wale watu wanafanya makosa. But to their surprise, I was you not. Didn't. A, I was not matter of a, I was very strict, yes, but right. only when I was on duty. When I was on duty, I didn't like to rub shoulders with my fellow students. students so well, that right. kind of gained me respect. You know, being a prefect, also trying to be up and. To, to be top in the class also. Right, yeah. uh, I think for some people they were intimidated, intimidated because I was saying, I, uh -huh. when you don't have a flow, but I knew I had my flaws, but I kind of, along the way I decided not to show them because people will now start to find a point where they could hit hard and right. I was not going to let, because you know, like I was, yes, I would say I was so, so, but that school kind of made me to be hard. The person I am today is defined it's by because that school. Of your high school. I entered that school hating it. When I, when Do I you still hate it even I right now? I don't, because it, it has made me the person I am today. Right. It has shaped You're me. You're among the few people, yeah. man. And if not for that school, I don't believe okay. I would be the same person. Because in as much as the conditions were not that uh, appealing to me, or sometimes, because I remember the first two years was met with me being in and out of hospitals because of the, of the weather and all that stuff. Even Trying the teachers. Adjust, yeah. yeah, even the teachers thought I had like <laughs> an internal illness. But yeah. from, from three, four, I adapted those like i had to man up and all that stuff so high right. school for me yes it had a lot of challenges, challenges but there right. were moments which were very amazing right. and if i'm told to go back i think i'll do you things. will go back i would go back but i will do things differently wow amazing yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent so big I'm shout really, out to I'm my really, school big shout out to your high school which is would st. You like paul's to mention Denga, st paul's Denga secondary school in ugenesia county wow yes <laughs> Daniel, on that note, how was your high school experience? Um, mine was terrible. Um, what? Terrible? Yeah. I think basically in my high school, um, I went to seven schools in high school. Hmm. You went to seven high schools? Yeah. So, if I had a chance of going back to high school, I will not go because I will drop out of school. I think that's what can happen right now because uh, when I was in high school, I struggled to, like my hope was to will I one day complete this journey. Right. Yeah, so going back, so going back to high school, to me, I cannot go back because... Uh, that is 